Well, uh, uh, I'm Dean. I'm Mike Yerksa. And this is our response to Dan Savage's It Gets Better video. Um, and I think what we want to say more than anything is that um, coming out and um, the process of doing that is something that we were both really afraid of. I think I can speak for, for both of us. Totally. Um, we're really afraid of and ultimately it was, I, I, there's no decision I've made in my life that I've been happier with. Um, I completely agree uh, with you. I think that, I remember being young, being young and thinking, I know I'm gay, but it's gonna be years before I can admit that to my friends and family. And, and then when I finally did, it was just everything was uphill from there. Mm -hmm. Everything, every single thing from that point on was uphill. And what's cool about, what's cool about this is at the time I didn't, I knew I would come out and that was as far as I could see in my own life. And I had no idea what would happen after that. And I think the message that everyone is trying to send online right now is that what happens after is so much better than what happens before. And um, I've been watching these videos and they're really great and there's a lot of talk of uh, meaningful relationships and fulfilling lives on a lot of different levels and um, uh, the depth of satisfaction you can get out of your life. And I agree with all of that. This is uh, one of my best friends of the world that never would have had the friendship we have if I hadn't have come out. But I would also like to send the message that uh, being a 20-something person so far, 20-something out gay person in a city so far is really fucking fun. Um, and uh, when you're an out gay person, you get to date, you know, hot guys that you want to have sex with. You get to go to parties that are full of cute people. You get, you know, there's, there's a superficial side to it too that is really great. And I don't mean to uh, set the gay rights movement back 50 years, but like, it's the really, so, the social really part fun. Is really fun. The social part's incredibly fun. And what's so nice about it too is that um, as soon as you come out, and, I, and I've said this before, but as soon as you come out, uh, everything gets better. And, and basically what happens is you find like-minded people with mm -hmm. like-minded interests. You bond with them, you spend time with them, you travel with them, you meet mm -hmm. other people through them. Mm -hmm. Everything becomes more enriched. It's really pretty incredible. I mean, it, and, it's awesome. Yeah, and I also think that by coming out, um, you get rid of the, like, the, sh the baggage and the shit that you have with being a gay person. Like for me, that process really started when I came out to my parents. That was when I, once you have to defend being a gay person out loud, you kind of get over the shit of it. And um, it gets awesome and you stop worrying about what people think about you. And I think also for me, um, I mean, I, in high school, really suppressed my personality and really suppressed my interests because I didn't want anything to tip me off, or to that tip no me off. Happens. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't. No, I wear my heart on my sleeve. And, you know, I remember in high school being, you know, being like, don't act this way or don't do that or don't let on that you like this because it'll tip you off and you'll become a target. Mm -hmm. And the second you just kind of come out and you're with like-minded people who respect you for you and like you for you, all of that doesn't matter anymore. And it's mm -hmm. so good, it gets so good. I can't stress that enough. I mean, if someone had told me as, you know, when I was in grade 10 and kind of unhappy, but not knowing why I was unhappy, um, that it was gonna be this great, I would not have believed them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is really, really this great. Like I yeah. cannot stress enough. I mean, the uh, fun things you'll do and, and the experiences you'll have, it's just crazy. Oh, the places you'll go. Oh, the places you'll um, go. But the other thing I would like to say is that if you're worried about the way people are gonna react, um, some people might react badly, but in my experience, or upon coming out, but in my experience, um, the bad, you know, obviously if you're in an unsafe situation, like physically um, get the fuck out of there. But um, if, you know, if your mom is a bit pissed off, like she'll be a bit, a bit pissed off for a while, but she'll get over it. Yep. Um, and people come around and if they don't, then they're not people that you really want in your life. So don't worry about other people's reaction because it's your reaction that is what matters. And also, situation. yeah, and I agree with you completely. Uh, and if they don't come around, they're not people that you want in your lives yeah. completely. And mm -hmm. I think that also, a lot of times when people come out, friends and family make it about them. And mm -hmm. they try to, uh, you know, a lot of parents are like, well, this isn't what I envisioned, but yeah. it's not about them. Mm -hmm. And you have to let them feel what they feel, but ultimately it's about you and how you feel. Mm -hmm. And people will come around. I mean, my mom, my mom loves having a gay son and she, you know, she didn't see it as a part of what, 
you know, her family plan was, but now it is, and she loves it. And so it's pretty great. You know, it's pretty great to have two amazing supporting, supportive parents and then an, uh, an incredible uh, family and a great group of friends who love me for who I am. And ultimately people will just be really happy to know the real you, so. Yeah, Go for so it. it does get incredibly, incredibly better. Um, it doesn't just get better, it gets amazing. <laughs> so just keep that with you. Uh, know how great it'll be and and uh, yeah, just move forward and once you're out of high school, everything's uphill. Good luck. Good luck.